We have a voicemail number. That number is two one nine two David P. The last couple days, I've taken a lot of hits as a result of my coverage of the Democratic primary. A lot of people don't like that. I don't see a mathematical path for Bernie to the nomination. There are people who don't like that when it comes down to it in November, I'm going to vote for Biden over Trump. And I've outlined the reasons why a lot of people are angry with me. Uh, we took several hundred unsubscribes on our YouTube channel yesterday as a result. And listen, it's uh, that's OK. You know, I mean, what, I, I can only do the show the way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do any of this stuff where, you know, I give people false hope that doesn't make sense or I pretend like the only reason Bernie lost is because of the DNC establishment. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. OK, if you want that. Uh, or not necessarily if you don't not that you want people to lie to you, but if you want people to tell you that you can find shows that I'm sure are doing it. And um, here's a voicemail I got sort of related to this big picture issue. David, what is wrong with the progressive movement right now? After the drubbing Bernie took in, on Tuesday, all I'm hearing from progressive sources is a bunch of excuses and fear mongering. They're now trying to impressed upon their audiences that Joe Biden can't possibly beat Trump. What the hell is going on? Do they want Trump to win? This is not helpful. And they keep talking about how Bernie still has a chance. Look at the analytics. He is not favored in a single state left right now. He's doing horribly amongst black people. He's doing well with Hispanics, but he's doing horribly with Hispanics in Florida. Bernie can't win, and we need to accept this. He's only getting about 35 percent of the vote. His constituency is not showing up. Yeah, that's that's all true. And, you know, I I understand, you know, having been through a bunch of these elections now and thinking back to the disappointment when George W. Bush um, was eventually get awarded the presidency over Al Gore. Uh, that's the first presidential election I followed really closely. I, I get the feeling I know what people are experiencing, but my argument is we don't do any better in future elections if we just say, guys, you know what happened? It was the establishment and it was the media that made it so that Bernie lost and he still has a chance. If that's your view, the same thing will happen next time. OK, we have to include in our analysis the electorate is not as progressive as Twitter and Reddit make us think. The electorate may like Medicare for all in the abstract, but when you say exactly how it will work, it's not as popular. I got into Twitter arguments yesterday about that. Guys, this is just the reality. It's not my opinion. When you give more detail about Bernie's Medicare for all plan, support goes down. Doesn't mean it's a bad policy, doesn't mean it's the wrong policy, but it's not just the media, okay? It's not just the DNC. Joe Biden right now is leading Bernie by 1.5 million votes. The idea that this is simply because the DNC took it from Bernie. If you if it makes you feel better, go with it. But we will not win elections when that is the predominant analysis. And I want to win. I want to win. That's my concern. And I also when it comes down to it, I don't want Donald Trump cho choosing Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's replacement. I don't want that. I'd rather it be Biden. Um, I, you know, I, I, I get that we're going to have some some audience rollover as a result of this, because there are people who just don't want to hear that. Here at some people we will lose for good. Some people will leave for a while and, and then eventually come back. I can't gauge my commentary or calibrate my commentary on that basis. I just have to tell what I see as the truth. If you see the data differently, that's a great debate to engage in. Kyle Kalinsky and I did that on Twitter yesterday. We went back and forth about some of these Medicare numbers. But, you know, it, calling me a centrist as a pejorative, all of that stuff, aside from being untrue and me being more progressive than I've ever been in my entire life based on all of the countless tests you folks have sent me and that I've taken. Um, we're not going to win by saying, oh, if I believe Bernie has lost, I am a centrist shill. We ju we're just not going to win. And maybe that's what some people want. Maybe some people want to perpetually be in uh, sort of the victim on the outside uh, position. And that uh, there's something to be said for that. That can feel good to a lot of people. There's a lot of psychology that's going on here that sort of exceeds my ability to mention mention here. but. I hope that that we can all sort of uh, come together and, and agree as to what it is that that is going on this election. We have a great bonus show for you today. Donald Trump wants big shocker, a bailout for the hotel industry. The NBA has canceled or suspended the remainder of their season as multiple players now have the virus. And Harvey Weinstein Weinstein, I get it's it's Eric Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein uh, has been sentenced to 24 years in prison. 
And um, that is a big case, which we will be talking about on the bonus show today. Get access to the bonus show. Don't miss it. Grab a membership at joinpacman.com or make a pledge on Patreon at patreon.com slash David Pacman show.